Okay then, so in this video it's all about extruding this wing out. So I've already got myself in face mode, I've got those faces that I need selected. Okay, so I'm going to go into my top view, I'm going to select my extrude tool. Lovely. And then change straight to my move tool, because that other manipulator is gash. And then just move this out. There we go, that's not too bad at all. Okay, I can see that it's not quite in line, and that's, I think, mainly discrepancies between the pictures again. So I'm not too worried about that. A little bit more artistic license can be used there. So straight into vertex mode, and just flatten the end of this wing off, as we did with the last one. So just using your scale tool, you might need to do this two or three times, just to get it perfectly flat. Okay, that's fine. Then straight into the front view, and set it up in this view as well. So we can see that that wing needs to taper off, so scale that in and I'm actually going to move it up a little bit as well just to give it that little bit of plainy goodness um, let me have a look at that yeah that's not not too bad I think that is okay so now what I need to do is get some some edge loops in I think so, in fact, yeah, I'll just put put the edge loops in. Oh well, I now I think what I'm going to do. I'm not happy with the thickness of this wing, so I'm going to fix that first. So I'm just going to put this into edge mode, and I'm going to select one of the edges that I want to work with, which would be that one, and then in select. You can use this, which is called Select Contiguous Edges, which will select all the way around there, hopefully. I selected all the ones at the top. So I can do it on the bottom as well then. So Select select Contiguous Edges. So that's now gone all the way around there, all the way on there as well. So that means that there are only a couple of edges I need to select now instead of getting them all. So I'll select that one and select that one. I'm just going to use my scale tool to just scale that in because I think the wing's a little bit too fat otherwise. I'm just going to do that by eye, I think. I think sort of like that. So I fixed that using uh, a different selection method. Okay, so in the next video, now that that's been sorted, we will stick in some edge loops and round off the wing. Okay, I'll see you for that one.